Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we're going to talk about Ruckus Cloud and uh, do a very basic setup of Ruckus Cloud in this demo. So you're going to want to go to cloud.ruckuswireless.com and uh, if you don't have an account already, you can sign up for a free trial right here. So just click on that, fill out the forms, and, uh, and you'll be ready to go with a free trial. Um, but let's assume for this demo that you've already created one. So uh, we'll just use my Ruckus Wireless login. And so you will have created this when you created your trial account. All right, so it takes us a second to connect to the cloud here. Okay, so this is the first time we've used this account. Uh, so it says, you know, welcome to the cloud. There's two easy steps to get this up and running. So we'll just, we'll go through the wizard. You don't have to, you could close the wizard and do it manually. Um, but really the three things you need is you need a venue and there will be a venue in there by default. Um, you need to add your APs and then you need to add your network or um, your SSIDs. So we'll just say, let's start. We'll add a serial number for an AP. So I'll just type in one. Um, there is some alternative ways to do this. You could do it with the uh, the app for your cell phone, for example, and scan the, the uh, serial number off the bottom of the AP or the shipping box. Um, but we'll just type it in. So then it's going to create that AP. So, so basically what it's going to do is the next time that AP goes out and hits the registrar, the worldwide registrar, then it will uh, upgrade the firmware and add that AP into your cloud account. Um, so that AP can't be in any other cloud account. So if you try to add my serial number, for example, it won't let you. Um, so so uh, it's a you, you add your serials here, so that's done. So then it wants to know about your network name, right? So this is your SSID that you're gonna advertise. So we'll call it uh, demo network give it a passphrase. So this is going to be, you know, WPA2 by default here. Um, and so, you know, demo network one, two, three, doesn't really matter what your passphrase is for now. And, we'll, and it's going to create the network. So this is creating the SSID right now. So it takes about a minute. It's got to go to the cloud. It's got to, you know, create that SSID, replicate it through the through the cloud clusters uh, for redundancy, and we should be uh, ready to go here. So it's done creating it. It's now activating it. Okay, so it says uh, uh, your first AP and your and your wireless networks were successfully set up. So here's your SSID, here's your passphrase. We can look at that passphrase if we want to, um, and then we can say done. So at this point, you see one AP here. Now that AP is offline, so it's not set up yet. So the next time it hits the cloud controller, which is every couple of minutes, you just plug it into the internet anywhere, basically right anywhere in the world where it can contact the the uh, registrar and the cloud controller. Uh, we have no clients on it yet. We have one venue. So let's have a quick look at those. So this is our default venue. It's called my venue and you can go in and set this up. Um, so you could, you know, you could manage that under there. There's one AP. You can place the AP. So if you want to upload a floor plan, right. Um, and we'll do that in a, in a future video. Um, you can adjust your Wi-Fi settings over here, adjust your, if it's a mesh network, 
uh, and your stats are going to show up here for traffic volume, applications, etc. Um, APs, so here's our AP. So it's found that AP and it's actually uh, uh, upgrading it right now. So if we expand this out, config applying. So it's going to apply the config and then bring that up. So it sees that it's an R510, it's got an IP address and a MAC address, venue, right? So when, if you have multiple venues, um, you can assign your APs to different venues. Um, the AP role, the number of clients, etc. Right, and then under networks, we created our demo network. So it's uh, here's its SSID, uh, what kind of security it has, what type it is, uh, the VLAN it's on, the APs, etc. So we could go in and and um, edit those APs, right? So we could we could say edit that network and uh, you know change its name, its description, how it onboards, right? Whether it's WPA2 or some other method. Um, what venue it's part of, so you can turn it on or off for specific venues, um, and then advanced settings, things like the VLAN, hiding uh, SSID and rate limiting, and and uh, you know things like that. So um, those are all available there. But I mean, basically, this is a basic setup, right? So you you log in, you have a venue, or you create a new venue if you have a new location, add your APs, add your networks, and uh, you should be ready to go. All right, so that's it. It's it's updating the network because um, we uh, we went through and made some changes, and I told it to save. So it's doing an update right now. But that SSID is up and live and uh, live on our access point as soon as it finishes applying those changes. So easy as that. A couple of minutes set up, and you're ready to go. All right. So thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Take care.